expensive is it to stay in Vancouver as a vacation? So we reached out to Shauna Vu from Travel Best Bets to help us uh, look into this. Shauna, hi there. Hi there. Thanks for having me. So what goes through your mind when you hear $10,000 for six nights in Vancouver at the Western Bay Shore? I mean, $200 restaurant is thrown in, some, some spa treatments. What do you think? Well, initially, a complete sticker shock, obviously. And then I started to kind of break it down. Cost per night of a hotel. This must have been packaged during peak season. We're talking peak Alaska cruise season, July, August, maybe Christmas, New Year's. Um, maybe they took the average. I'm not sure. Spring break. And then with the spa treatments, I mean, you, if you look at a, a daily uh, a day at the spa at a five-star hotel in downtown Vancouver, that's $500 per person per day. So if you start to break it down at $700 a night for the hotel and then your airfare, et cetera, it's, it actually is possible, not for you know regular folk, but some, I guess. Yeah, so if a tourist then came during off-peak times when it, there, it isn't cruise season, how mm -hmm. much on average do you think six nights in Vancouver would, would set them back? Sure, and maybe not at this hotel, right? This is prime location, waterfront, five-star. I would say, you know, you're looking at on average for a week for two people around the $2,000 to $2,200 price point. I see. So what can you tell us about the average stay then? If someone's coming to the city, you know, on a, a little vacation, what, what is an average tourist stay here? Or can we, can we even parse it out? Do we know if they're here for business or, or here for pleasure? Well, I've been in the industry for a really long time and we book People from around the world, they come to Vancouver specifically for the Alaska cruise season and just our diverse culture and all the things that we have to offer here in Vancouver. On average, I would say between four to five nights would be an average um, uh, duration for a tourist to come to, to Vancouver. We're not talking extended periods of stay, but you know, a moderately priced hotel, maybe $100 per day for dining and entertainment, but it really all comes down to what do you want in your holiday from Vancouver? Travel is very subjective. So what I want, you may not want. But I, I think um, an average cost, it would be, again, between 2000 to 2200 Right. $100 a day for food? My goodness. We're, that's that's three <laughs> meals? Maybe three meals, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, three meals, I would say. That would be, you know, on average, I would say. Could no. be less, could be more, again, depending where you're eating. Yes, and, and I, I know location is a big part of this um, co conversation as well. But I remember going online mm -hmm. last summer and, and looking at hotels in the downtown core, and there was nothing less than $500 a night um, anywhere in, in the downtown Vancouver. D does that surprise you? Is that is that kind of normal for, for high season? That is totally normal, if not more than $500. Yeah. yeah, exactly. More than $500 a night. But there's options. You don't need to stay in downtown Vancouver when you come. You could stay, um, you know, on the, the border of Burnaby and Vancouver. You could stay in North Van and take the sea bus over. So there are actually lots of options. Um, we actually book a lot of clients that come for Alaska cruises um, out at the airport. And then they take the Canada line in. So, you know, based on our amazing transportation system, it's such an easy city to get around it.